Can you actually close the game? I'm, I'm trying to be nice. <gasps> I can totally do this. Uh, it looks like a 55 like this, but... You know I hate being fucking serious during an actual podcast. Can we go then? Okay. I'm waiting like, for you. Okay. You have to finish your fucking shit. thought. You were the one that was going off about fucking what, like, your thoughts about the fucking anime. It was your thing. It was your I thing. I thought I finished my thing. No, you didn't. Okay. You were listening out the fucking shit that was a- that was anime. It's all anime. All of the things they make are anime. Okay, but what are those things? Are we-, we made the full list. I literally did the full list. Okay. Without fail. Okay. All of them. And then you was like questioning shit. Okay. So. What about those other than them just being from the same people make them anime? Uh, other than their style, their influence, their fact that they're actual sequels or remakes of anime, the uh, what 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 do you need? What do you need? Everything about them is anime. What else do you need? I don't. I don't know. I need an actual solid definition as to what anime is. Okay, you and I have been through this before on this podcast. You and I both know what anime is. It's more than just Narsal. It's more than just the Japanese word for anime. Because what? Guess what? Guess what? If if anime really is just the Japanese word for animation, then every fucking Disney cartoon is a fucking anime. Because guess what they call fucking cartoons in anime land, Japan? Anime. They call Mickey Mouse anime. They call Cinderella anime. So guess what? It ain't the fact that the word is a Japanese word for animation. That's not it. It's not just an art style. That's a huge part of it. But if it was just an art style, then anyone making something with big eyes or fit a chibi art style would be anime. Not all chibi is anime. Not all big eyes is anime. Man, this is hard. What's hard? Differentiating what's anime and what's not. It's really not that hard. You see, it's actually a lot easier than everyone seems to think it is. It's actually real fucking simple. I used to, but anime it just me. anime is an art movement. It's it's like it's like the Renaissance. It's like the Romantic period. It's it, it it's it's an art movement. And thus is really nebulously defined. In fact, it's defined by its shared histories, ancestries, um, it, through through the names of the creators, um, through their creations. Um, it's largely defined by simply what's popular or accepted, um, and then later defined by academia uh, decades later. Like it, like it, it's it's really simple. It's anything that calls itself anime. Anything that um, is part of that art movement, anything that has such influence in anime that it, it is permanently changed by it um, and isn't directly trying to steal um, tropes from anime um, and, and uh, put them into a different art form. Um, like there are a lot of cartoonists in America that do take anime tropes and some anime styling but that are still part of the cartoon um, cartoon movement here in the West, the Western cartooning. Um, most of them have classical cartooning uh, animation backgrounds, um, although that's dying out now as everything is replaced by uh, computer animation. Um, some of them have uh, like like history in, in the Western cartooning landscape. Um, most of them don't actually study a- anime. Instead, they um, have watched it or have a passing view of it and take things from it. Um, Those are still cartooning because they're part of a different style. They're part of a different movement. But something that is often mistaken for being a cartoon, um, but that's definitely anime. Big example, Avatar Last Airbender. It's an anime. It's not a cartoon. Was it made and produced in the West? Yeah. By Westerners? Yeah, by Americans. Was it an anime? Yeah. It's overtly styled after anime. It's overtly influenced by anime. Um, the main influences for its creation are not just not Western in their base. They're expressly Eastern. They're expressly Chinese, Korean, Japanese. Um, 
Each of the bending styles is a different Asian martial art. Um, each of the, the, the nations is a different Asian nationality or close to it. Inuit is kind of close to a lot of Korean shit and crap. Like it's like, there's a whole lot of Asian influence, Asian base, everything it was made for, and you know what? Directly from the words of the creators themselves, they aimed to make a Western anime. And they did. They made an anime. It's part of the anime movement. It um, uses heavy tropes from anime, everything from um, memes about the, the girls, um, such as the, the, the Dares. It's got, it covers all five of the Dares. Plus the extra dairies that no one talks about. It it it, it, it covers classical anime stylings, um, classic tropes, everything. It's an anime. And it's an anime because it wants to be an anime. Because it was influenced by anime and because it tries to be an anime. So what would you consider? What shows would you consider that... What shows... How am I supposed to work this? Are there sh are How there do you tell an anime or cartoon apart? No, 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 what? no, 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 no. Um, are there anime that you think get mistaken for... For cartoons? Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of really old anime get mistaken for cartoons by people who don't know the difference. Um, hell, a lot of the ones that aired here in the West, um, uh, things like Astro Boy, that's an anime. Oh, no, 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 no. What? I'm saying, are there anime that get mistaken for cartoon that you think are... Mistaken for cartoons, no, yeah. No, 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 sorry, sorry. Are there cartoons that you think get mistaken for... Are mistaken for anime? Um, yeah, I think some people, uh, more broadly than they mean to, uh, or that they should, expand this to say things like, um, oh, here's a big one, Adventure Time. Adventure Time is not an anime. I've never heard anyone call it an anime. I've I've been in an argument with someone before, and um, we I thought we were both on the same side because we were both arguing. Um, there was two of us against three people who were anti Avatar: Last Airbender, um, being called anime, and we were both fighting on the same side. And then they made the argument that um, a lot of Western cartooning is actually anime, in disguise essentially. Um, in fact, they expand this to things like, and I do kind of agree with the fact that these are all influenced by anime, but that they are not anime. Um, I do not agree that with the assertion these are anime, but that they probably have a lot of influence from anime. Things like Gravity Falls, um, things like um, Rick and Morty, things like, uh, fuck, what was that really cool one that only lasted for like a season? Had um, like Frodo Baggins as the main character or whatever? What the fuck? The actor who played Frodo was like the voice actor for the... Uh, no, the I know that. I'm just trying to think of like what... It's a rock fact. It's a rock fact? That's a rock fact. Yeah, that's, that's where that meme came from. What the fuck? Dinosaurs ate humans. That's a rock fact. I don't know what you're talking about. I think it might have even been made by the same people as like the Gravity Falls feel. Maybe. It felt very similar in a lot of time. Anyway, point yeah. is, there are a lot of things that... um. People who are just getting into anime or who might have been into anime first or saw anime on uh, Cartoon Network or Toonami back in the day um, and who follow animation um, maybe mistake um, the dif the differences. Um, so while there's definitely a lot of anime influence in something like Adventure Time, it's very clearly not anime. And I'm not just saying because there are stylistic differences. Um, I'm saying because there are massive differences in terms of um, the animator's bases. Um, how animation is made is wildly different from place to place, culture to culture, location to location, um, but they can all take from each other. The thing is, is that things like Adventure Time don't actually take from like Japanese and animation, um, anime styling, um, or anime filmography. Um, they don't take many anime tropes even. Um, instead they're taking like twists on classic Eastern or sorry, not Eastern Western tropes. <clears throat> um, most of Adventure Time isn't really connecting with Eastern tropes, but rather Western tropes directly. Um, a lot of it's based off of like a medieval fantasy, almost D and D, uh, save the princess thing. Um, uh, it has huge Western influence, and more important than anything, 
the cartoonists themselves studied Western cartooning um, and don't seem to practice um, anime making. I even think there was an actual like episode where they tried to mimic an anime style um, like as one of the jokes or as part of part of an episode. Um, and that that distinction made it very clear it's not. Um, another show um, on Cartoon Network that did the same thing um, is uh, fuck the one with the, the blue cat and the goldfish. Um, Gumball. Amazing oh, World of Gumball. Oh, oh. oh um, yeah, that's that they super have, popular anime fight yeah, scene. They have like an actual anime episode where they do a bunch of tropes, but um, the fact is that they're a cartooning thing. Um, they're part of a cartoon movement in the cartooning industry in the West. Um, and while they take big influences sometimes from anime or Eastern culture, they themselves are not producing something in that. They're producing something in the cartoon movement, not in the um, anime movement. Um, the easiest way to tell something is an anime or not, really, is to literally ask the creators. Did you make a cartoon or did you make an anime? If they answer they made an anime and then list their reasons that they made an anime, and those are that they were influenced um, by either past anime, anime creators, um, anime as a style or as a feeling, um, then they're probably part of that anime movement and should be considered so. Whether or not stylistically they're close enough, whether or not they're um, aesthetically close enough, whether or not they're, they're actually... Um, made or produced in the East, whether or not uh, they even have real Eastern influence. Maybe it's just someone saw something one time and says, I want to make an anime, and they made a cartoon that looks like an anime. They say they want to be an anime, then they're trying to contribute to a specific movement, and it's not the cartoon movement. They're trying to contribute to the anime movement. So basically, it, it all comes down to what the creator wants to make. Pretty much, yeah. It's like any art movement in pretty much all of history. It's down to right now, while they're still alive, the creators, and then later, decades down, when anime as an art form has died out and been replaced by a different form of cartooning, most likely everything will be replaced by CG eventually, and we'll have to call it something different than anime um, eventually. CG and anime? I'm so No. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, but, uh... Eventually, we'll call it something else. There'll be a, some definitive or set of things that seem to make a big difference and that finally make us start coining some new term for a new style. Um, and we've already seen this happen in the West. Uh, in, sorry, yeah, in the West um, a couple of times. We saw this happening with um, classic cartoon animation. Um, cartoon animation was completely supplanted by CG here in the West. When was the last time Disney put out a 2D animation? Princess and the Frog. Is that 2D? That was the last 2D one they made. I feel like there was another one. Nope. That was the one. last classically animated uh, movie Disney ever made. I feel like there was one more. And there weren't. Not from Disney. I feel there like are a couple of shorts, um, but most of those weren't in-house either. Um, that was the last classic 2D animation Disney made. Disney... The people that basically defined cartooning for generations, literally, um, hasn't made a cartoon movie in ages. They've moved on to their animation suite. They call it animation. Um, Disney animations. Pixar animations. CG is what they moved on to. CG is their new cartooning. And it's definitively a different style. Heck, we've even seen uh, different like subcategories in, in that now. Now we've seen Sony come out with um, their unique method. Um, they're like unique enough to be copyrighted as a separate form um, method of animating um, with variable frame rates with uh, Spider Verse. We've we've seen all sorts of like evolutions in the industry away from two D animation, and that is a change in art movement. Okay. I do not disagree. Yeah, there you go. So there you go. Still not what, it, what I wanted to talk about, but okay. Well, it answered your question, and then some. No, still didn't, I still didn't get to talk about The Witcher. You're the one who deviated from talking about The Witcher. I bought The Witcher, left it off to you, and then you questioned shit. 
We still didn't. That doesn't change my... And uh, I then continue. Then go. So Witcher's getting into man. So out of all of this... <laughs>